Welcome back to In the Can. We're going to be talking about the film My Brother the Devil and Sally El Husseini, the director and uh, actor James Floyd is here. So thank you both for coming in. It's great when we get to have the cast. Thank you for having so, us. So thank you so much. So this film, I think it's really exciting. We just had um, Kara in here from the Institute who talked a lot about the, the lab that goes on through the Institute all year long. And this is a film that you worked on there at the lab, correct? Yeah, that's right. Um, I developed um, the, the project through the Screen Writers Lab in mm -hmm. January, which was up at the Sundance Resort, and then also the Director's Lab in June 2009. So um, I spent a whole year developing the project um, through the labs mm -hmm. and with the support of the Sundance Institute. I mean, this film really wouldn't have happened without the support of the Sundance Institute and the Doris Duke Foundation for Islamic Art, which came through the Institute as well. So. It's wonderful. Kara was here just saying how wonderful it is to get to have mm -hmm. filmmakers who went through the lab actually here at Sundance. So yeah. um, they're excited as, as well as you are. And uh, this film actually took a lot longer to make than just the lab. You've been working on this for a long time. Yeah, five years. Five years you've been working on this film. Yeah. And um, the film is set, give us kind of an overview of the story. Okay, so it's, um, it's set in Hackney in mm -hmm. London, and it's the story of two um, British Egyptian brothers. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it takes place over the course of one summer. Mm -hmm. And um, for the, um, the younger brother, it's a coming of age story. And for the older brother, it's a coming out story. Mm -hmm. And the stories intertwine. Okay. And uh, James plays the older brother, Rashid. The older brother, who the younger brother is trying to emulate, right? Yeah. Um, so what is it about the story that, that grabbed you and that was important for you to, to be a part of? Um, I mean, there's many things. I think it's a very complex story. I think um, it's, it's the most, one of the most original stories you'll see on film this year. You know, I guess it's set in quite a, a familiar world that we've seen uh, on cinema many times. But what Sally does is she brings an amazing vulnerability and sensitivity and poetry to that world and almost a beauty you know uh, that it's we have quite a seen. compliment <laughs> well, no, it's true. i'll pay him later yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true she no, paid me ahead. a lot of money for that yeah i'm sure <laughs> yeah. yeah but so it was it was a story you know and i think i think what you just said we hear a lot about you know this is set in the the you kind of had the story evolve after the, the bombing took place in in mm -hmm. um in this area and the media portrays the youth that you have in the film differently, and that's that's what dro drove you, right? To really yeah. show that they're just I mean, like every other teenage boys, and that they want the same thing, and bring bring the humanness to these to these yeah. boys. Yeah, I mean, I think that. Um, well, when we were testing the camera um, on the camera test day, that's when the Hackney riots broke out. And it, um, the, uh, throughout the time we were filming, there was a lot of um, debate in the media of why did the riots break out, why are uh, kind of youth uh, disillusioned and smashing up shops, and um, <laughs> why did it reach that stage that you know the streets of London are burning? And it, um, I don't have any answers to, the quest to that question, except that um, the youth that are portrayed in this film are the same youth that were kind of... Um, writing mm -hmm. and it I would say that um, trying to do something honest um, that mm. portrays them as three-dimensional characters rather than kind of stereotypically as like thugs or mm -hmm. hoodies that people should be afraid of um, is is important to me mm -hmm. really let's take a quick look at the film uh, this is a, a rooftop scene can you set it up for us let us know what we're gonna see yeah in this it. is this is a scene that um, has Mo um, Rashid's younger mm -hmm. brother um, and it, he's hanging out with his friends okay so let's take a quick look at my brother the devil so that was a quick look at my brother, the devil, and we're speaking with the director and actor of the film. And I can only imagine um, how tough it would be to understand this culture and make sure that you get it spot on. So what kind of research did you have to do, both of you, to play the character well and to know how to direct this film? Well, because um, I wrote the script, I, I actually spent a lot of time uh, with the guys in Hackney, Highbury, and Brixton um, out on the streets at night, um, getting to know them, their world. I spent many years kind of um, developing Wow. relationships um, to, to make the script uh -huh. real and then when James came on board he did you did you join her at 3 a.m. on the <coughs> streets uh, more about 6 a.m. I'd say okay her hours are like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Wow <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> no I basically had, I was very lucky I had five months okay uh, to basically get into the character's head and through Sally's uh, wonderful contacts one of the guys Eamon Hamducci who's in the film uh -huh. plays the repo uh, I was allowed to be a fly on the wall in that wow. world and I just soaked it up. And, That's amazing. Yeah. Well, th congratulations, you guys. It's great. The award ceremony is tonight, and I know yeah. that you're in the competition department or, uh, program. So best of luck tonight. Thank Thanks you. so Thank much you. for coming in. Thank and we'll be back with more right after this.